The work we do in the Energy and Materials Division is important to me because we're really trying to solve one of the grand challenges of our time, which is how are we going to move people around without relying on fossil fuels? Our work is focused on three main pillars. The first is accelerating new materials design and discovery. We really need to push the boundaries of what we have in terms of energy technology. I think the breakthrough is really going to come from designing and creating a new material. Traditional methods of discovering a new material relies very heavily on scientific intuition and a little bit of serendipity, which means that it can take a lot of time on the order of years, if not decades. And that's simply not the kind of time that we have now. Materials discovery is really challenging because the design space is incredibly large, right? The number of possibilities that exist in order to not just select the elements or the atoms or the chemistries that you need, but the way in which you can put them together, it's practically endless. A new material um, is a game changer in technologies. Here at TRI, our team works having machine learning models to help us to accelerate the design of experiments. In this way, we try to perform fewer experiments, only the critical ones, as well as to shorten the experiment time. For example, we are shortening the testing time of a battery device to help us to make predictive decisions about how long a battery would last in the future. The second pillar of our work is focused on batteries, specifically improving battery manufacturing. Even if we find new materials, if we find new breakthroughs, if we find new devices that might power the future, we still have to make a lot of them. Toyota makes 10 million cars a year, which is an enormous amount. And so we need to be able to make these things at scale. It's a really long time to figure out how to manufacture a new battery chemistry, especially up to the safety standards of Toyota. And so what we are doing is we are working with Toyota Battery Manufacturing North Carolina to design from the ground up a brand new data architecture that will capture far more data from the manufacturing process and make it available to machine learning, Bayesian optimization, and a bunch of other approaches that are going to let people have better insight into the batteries, not just visualizing data, but also being able to generate models. The third and final pillar of our work in energy materials is focused on strengthening Toyota's broader strategy towards carbon neutrality. Technology is a necessary and critical piece of decarbonizing the transport sector. But in order for these innovative technologies to actually reduce carbon emissions globally, they need to be adopted by the customer and to be adopted by the customer at scale. In order to determine whether this technology will be successful, we must understand what exactly does the customer want today and what might the customer want tomorrow. We must also understand what does the, the regulatory landscape look like now? What do we anticipate the future could look like as well? So what we look to do is to really bring an interdisciplinary perspective, to bring in the material science, to bring in the human behavior and consumer psychology, but also to think about the policy element and the economics side of it. The transformation of the transportation sector is going to require innovation, certainly within the vehicle, but also of the ecosystem at large. A problem this big and complex requires multidisciplinary expertise. We have a diverse mix of experts from material science backgrounds, machine learning, human behavior, uh, systems analysis, all working under one roof to try to find innovative solutions that can help with decarbonization. And this is rare, but it's necessary. I think one of the exciting opportunities with the work that we're doing at TRI and across Toyota is really the opportunity to rethink how we power our societies, how we move people around, and maybe we have the chance to do things differently and not just replace the technologies of the past. One of the things that's most important to me about this work is the way in which it contributes to us moving towards a carbon neutral world. You know, the technologies that we have today simply are not cutting it. And we need new technologies and we can't wait decades. We need new solutions today. We need better solutions and we need better technologies in the future. This is why I got into this field. This is my life's work.